If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have my boy, my boy, Rafael Leon to check out today. We're taking a look at someone who is six foot two, high low work rates, right footed, five star skills, five star weak foot. So uh, looking pretty saucy so far. Player traits, finesse shots, outside foot shots. Those are original traits in the card, even from the beginning of the year. So some huge W's there. Uh, flare, flare, passes, technical dribbler, speed dribbler. In-game attributes. Ah, you already know I'm going to give him. Come on. Let's be, let's be real, guys. What, ca what chemistry style am I going to give him before I put it on him? Engine chemistry style, lol. Um, actually, no. Passing and dribbling. Do I care about a boost in that specifically? No, probably a sniper. Because sniper gives him the long shot, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. Because, listen, his dribbling is already really high. I'm, I'm not going to really improve that, right? Yeah. Okay, so shooting perfect. Pace really good. Passing uh, can be improved. So passing, passing, shooting, passing, physical, passing, physical. Wow, isn't there? I swear there's a chemistry style for passing and physical. Don't really use them that often, eh? But near the end of the year, it kind of gets to that point. Um, because of the jumping, increasing jumping would kind of be helpful, right? Uh, physical stats looking really nice in the card, though. Position changes left wing, left mid. Cool. How much... Seven squads for him. Okay, so BRB, boys. Okay, guys, so uh, we're actually going to give him the sniper. It makes the most sense because it gives him that massive uh, physical boost in regards to jumping as well as aggression. Uh, it's going to be helpful to get those things because even though this Leon card is not a lengthy player, he's kind of an R trigger merchant. Uh, a lot of people, when they use this card, they do a lot of step over acceleration touches, which you guys know I hate with a passion, but it's effective in this game. Um... And it's really, really good for someone like Leon, right? So just food for thought. Uh, we'll be using him in the 4-3-3, striker position. Um, and the rest of the team will just be as is. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and try him out. And a good tackle. Leon. Oh, that touch. What was that? Nice, he actually wins the physical engagement in the air. A real attacking intent shown by the old boys. Leal, chance to finish. There it is. Get the angle there, he's got the five star skills. A little finish with the weak foot. So this is the goal that I forgot to show. Um, you can see I get to the space here. He already makes that run in behind. You do a slow down with him. Nice little green time strike, and we score the opportunity, right? So, but you could see initially how he kind of does this run, right? Angles, boom. He's already on side. He just has to be an R trigger merchant. Shoots, scores the opportunity. Do I get the deflection? Nope. I green that one too. Tried though. Got the run off. Vinicius Junior. Can they take advantage? Oh, Roberto Carlos comes. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Leal. Van Dijk with it. Oh, if the pass was well weighted, I would have been good there. You can see that the physical presence that he has is very helpful in those types of situations, right? Nice finish. Some good stuff. Manual challenges in this game are horrible. Oh, we get the run, though. Touchdown. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be caught up too right there. Wow. 
He does the uh, outside foot shot animation himself there, eh? You see that? I was trying to time it as well because obviously he's physical, so... Look at him pointing to the spot. Look at that. Pass off. Really EA. <laughs> but yeah, he points. He's like literally like... He's like he's yelling at you. He's like, I'm an R-Trigger merchant, please! Still scored it. Let's go. All right. Sounds good to me, bro. Sounds good to me. And I red timed it. Oh, the physical players, man. I always got to get used to them when they uh, take the strikes because it takes a longer for them, you know? And then that one's fast. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, that's why for me, like, just personally, this is not because he's bad. It's just a personal thing. I just prefer the Vinicius Juniors and stuff because I'm just more consistent at those guys. But that's just a personal thing. It's not like a review like, oh, he's bad because of this. No, if you got used to it, it's fine. Nice play. Nice play. Finesse shot actually works. Every time I do a finesse inside 18, I'm like, I don't know about this one, my dude. I don't know. Why do, you, why do they jump? Guys, you explain to me, why do they jump when the goalie challenges them? I don't get a penalty because you jump? No, bro. In real life, you're taking the challenge. How? What, what kind of stupid mechanic is that? Oh, almost. Ah. Uh, I should have just kept on going, to be honest. Man, try a header with Leon, why not? No, I couldn't get the left stick thing, man. Oh, I got it. I got it. Let's go. You know how that goes. <laughs> it's good because we test it out without timing it as well, right? Because I, I get, I, I just do it so late with these guys. Might be a red. Oh, it's a good yellow card, man. It's a good one. That's what I'm saying, though, right? Like, when he takes off, he takes off, right? Ah, oh, white timed on that. That's boost. That boost of pace, though, bro. There it is. Let's go, Leon. Oh, I put too much. Unlucky. Dude, it doesn't register my roulette there, man. Come on. Come on, dude. 
and the counter looks on here. Options available. All hands on deck. Well, nice try. Bro, the jam that he was working with right there was ridiculous. I mean, that's why people like this card, right? He's jammy, man. He's a he's a jammy player because his physical, when he does the skill moves, it's crazy to work with. That's what people people love doing that with the team of the season card so much. It was always like the step over accelerations into space because it's hard to get the ball off and once he does the specific things right like that type of stuff once he gets past you it's it's really hard to just get the ball off of him right Ooh, a header Nice try, nice try. Movements there. I tried. Got too close there. Ooh, nice try on the finesse. White time shot, we missed that opportunity. But again, takes off with the pace, right? So Oh, <laughs> okay. You know how that goes. Uh, I knew that the angle wasn't really good enough there for the shot, so I had to go for an extra thing there. Oh, wow. You can check my controller. I actually had to do the skill move there twice. It didn't register the first one. Oh, that pass was better, man. He's making a good run there. Virgil van Dijk. Leal. Can he do it? Oh, and I still don't score. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Rafael Leal card. So definitely a minimum S tier card uh, could definitely be an S star tier, depending on your play style. Now, obviously, for me personally, the players that I always compare to because there's very few players that I put at the S star or the S tier uh, in regards to attackers is players like Rodrigo at the S and then Vinicius at the S star. For me personally, I still prefer to use a Vinicius Jr. over this Rafael Leal card. But there are people in this game that are really going to benefit off of that play style that Liao has where he's more physical oriented, right? Because this is a type of card where if you play a certain way in FIFA, he's going to be very beneficial for you, right? Like if you like to do uh, the step over accelerations, you like to use a card like this in the side positions to kind of uh, get through the defense, go for like a driven pass or something, right? Um, the type of card where... If you get past a defender ever so slightly, it's very hard to get the ball off of him afterwards. That's the type of stuff that you're going to be working with for the most part, right? So obviously with a card like this, guys, you got to utilize a lot of the meta stuff with the uh, 
L1 elastic holes, the step over accelerations, that type of stuff to really utilize him. Uh, again, for me personally, I do prefer the Vinicius Jr. type of player because he's more agile on the ball. This is more of a physical type player, uh, but it doesn't mean that he's bad, right? He's a minimum S tier. Um, obviously, for some people, could be an S star tier, again, based off of the play style. So a couple things that I noticed with the card for me personally, with Rafael Leao, and you can use him as a striker 100%, I would recommend using him as a striker next to somebody else because of the way that he generally moves. Uh, but I will say that if I were to play with this card in general and I was rocking like a 4-3-2-1, this is a type of dude that I would rock in that right forward position specifically because technically speaking, he's obviously going to be nice at taking finesse shots, but because he's a more physical oriented dude, I don't know if you guys have the same problem with me, but when the cards are more physical, their consistency of greening is a little bit different, right? So uh, sometimes you do have to get used to that when it comes to shooting it outside the 18 yard box. With this card, honestly, even when I played against this team of the season version, it wasn't really a lot of shots outside the 18. It was a lot of shots going inside because he's a jammy card to get into those positions. You know what I'm saying? So uh, definitely a really good SBC. Um, you know, his team of the season was a card that you know, cause havoc for a lot of people for a very long period of time. So the fact that he's a premium, the fact that he's giving you some AC Milan Portuguese links to work with is definitely a very huge W um, for this card. So yeah, minimum S, S star, depending on your play style for sure. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. If you guys end up using this card, I do recommend the sniper because honestly, there's nothing you can do about that dribbling. He's, he's just going to feel that way. Okay. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.